<clears throat> Hello, students. Hi, everyone. Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome Hi, good to your English class. Hi, it's a great pleasure to, you know, to see you. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. That's great. So welcome to everyone. It's actually a great chance to, you know, be ready to practice and learn English because it's our priority for all the best. And especially learning the language nowadays, we understand that it's very necessary, you know, to, you know, to do our best to learn and maximize our skills. So welcome to everyone. And uh, also <clears throat> because this is the last class for this level, you will continue working a lot, working so hard in the, um, some other, you know, levels, but at the same time, um, the, the practice is the, the most important, right? So we don't have to forget that one. And at the same time, because English is, has become a necessity for many, many of us, you know, looking for better chances to improve, better chances to learn, and also to do a great job. So in the, in what sense we say, you know, this, uh, this is a time we invest this is the time that we have for learning and uh, we don't have to stop. We have to try to keep, you know, keep the best and practice everywhere we are and also take advantage of it because there are great opportunities with the language. So, well, this is a good time. And also because we had a nice weekend, I hope that you have had a great weekend and also rest and also recover energy. Well, let's start today with our class. And I want to ask you, what do you remember that we studied in the last class? Who wants to be a volunteer who can help me to tell me what we studied in the last class? Yes, a volunteer. Yes what we started in the last class? Estuvimos leyendo uno, unos artículos. Um, articles. Okay. Okay, we practice listening. We have the conversations and also you listen to some conversations and also, you know, some an article that we read about family. Okay, that is that is great. And we introduce the next topic and we can check also a conversation. And something important is that we, we had to be exposed to a conversation in English, to a listening conversation. And that is good because the first we had to listen. We, we know we can work with exercises, right? Reading books, but also listening um, is a priority, is a necessity. So I consider that we need to take a time to practice vocabulary, practice pronunciation, and also that's why watching TV, serious movies can help you. And also we're going to practice with the, with the following exercise we have right now. Look at this. We have a conversation and I'm going to share the link. So if you allow me, I'm going to change the first because I need to share it with you by this mean. One second. Uh, this one, I think it's this one. Okay. I will share right now a link and you will have the opportunity to Listen carefully and also answer the following questions, the ones we have here. It says that um, according to this one, uh, besides paper books, what did a little girl make with the paper at school? You will listen and you will have to select what is the, the answer about these, these questions. The girl used crayons, papers, and so you have to, you know, listen in this case. 
Uh, what did the girl do after school besides playing games? Something else she did. And the girl played with her at school. So you had to listen and also select the best choice according to the information given in the conversation. And the last one is the one, um, where does this conversation must probably take place? So where do you think the conversation took place? At home, at school, in a mall? So you listen in that case. So I, I will share this one. And before that we listen this conversation, I want to ask you if you have a question. No. Okay. Okay, perfect. So I will give you this time to listen. Uh, I shared with you the link and I shared the link and look at this chat and also listen the conversation. And then we will answer these questions according to this conversation. Let's go. I'll give you uh, two minutes and a half to do that one. If you have questions, you can also tell me. I don't, teacher. Thank you so much, uh, Catherine. Okay, so if someone else is ready, let me know, please. Okay, someone else finished?
and someone else finished? Hello? Or not yet? Uh, someone else finished or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay, so let's check now the conversation. It was a very interesting conversation. And also the goal for this one is that we are capable to uh, identify, you know, valuable details uh, related to this conversation. The question is, was easy or difficult to understand this conversation? For me, easy. Easy. Okay, nice. Someone else? Easy or difficult? Yes. For me, it has medium difficult for me. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Thanks a lot. Okay, we go with the first one. Um, according to the besides paper books, what did the girl make with paper at school? What do you get from that one? What do you get for this, uh, the first question? Blue. Animal. Okay, so animals, right? Okay, yes, that is the answer. Um, uh, animals, they're talking about kangaroos and some other animals. So, in that case, we can summarize animals. Great job. Number two, the girl used crayons, paper, and what else? Blue. Yes, Blue. correct, Blue. right? That was mentioned in the conversation. That, that was good. Yes. What about the next one, uh, the number three? What do you get from that? What happened after school? What happened? What she did? The girl rode her bike. Yes, right? In a court, yes. Uh, like, in the tennis court. Yeah, going with bike. Yeah, it was, it was good. Like, kids love that one. To go out and go with their indoor bikes. Uh, bikes. So that's good. Great listening. The next one in... What is... Look at the next one. The girl played with her. Closing. Cousin. Yeah, with a relative. Yes, correct. With a cousin, with a relative. Great job with that. And the last question, the last but not the least, what were, you know, who works? Yeah, so what do you think? I'm sorry, which I, I just moved the, the page. I'm sorry. So, where do you think they were talking? 
in a party house. in the house. in the house, right? Yes. So the conversation took place in the house. Great job. Congratulations for the listening part. And that is the way, right? We have to um, show confidence. We have to show, you know, this level of comprehension. And we are building our knowledge step by step. We listen. I didn't understand. Try it again. I didn't understand. Try it again until you can get it. So it's a process. So we have to respect this process and also, you know, feel confident talking in that way. Okay, we go with the next conversation. And I need your help because this is the, the challenge that I have for you. We're going to share the second conversation. And I want you to listen. Well, we're talking about nationalities. It's about a person who, you know, belongs to a different country. You will have to listen and you have to answer where is he from? How many brothers and sisters that he does he have? What is his father's job? What does his mother do? And who works at the family business? Because if you remember, we have been talking about a family. We have been talking about relatives. So this is a good time to understand this conversation. So I'll give you right now a couple of minutes to listen and help me to respond to the following conversation. So I'll give you this time right now. Look at the chat right here. And listen, and let's do it. Finish, teacher. Thank you so much. I'm done, teacher. Thank you. Ready. Excellent. Okay. Okay. You could appreciate here that this conversation was like a little um, easy in comparison to other ones because the person who was speaking in, well, it was very clear the, the, the way the person talks. And so I think it's um, not a difficult situation about these conversations. So how do you feel about this conversation? Tell me, it was easy, was difficult. So tell me your experience. How was this conversation was, for you? It was easy for me. Easy for me too. Easy for me too. Nice, nice. That's that's good. That is great news for me, right? Great news. 
um, you can see there are, depending on the topics, you know, the conversations could be difficult or easy in that case. So I really like it because that's one of the ways to, to socialize, you know, conversations. And listening is one of the best, the best ways to maximize our speaking because we listen and we produce. So we, we listen the way how people talk, the way how they pronounce, the way how they connect phrases, statements. So this is the best way, right? So now after that we, you know, after listening this conversation, I need your help because I need you to help me to, uh, to respond the following, you know, questions in this conversation. The question is ready. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, excellent. We're talking about, about this one. One moment. Okay, the first question is, where is this, what is the, the man from? The man is from Peru. Oh, it's from Peru, right? Yes, you know, and um, the accent of uh, Peruvian is very remarkable. When you listen to someone from Peru, you know, the accent is very remarkable. It's very, you know, you identify where they are from. Okay, question number two. How many brothers and sisters does he have? Seven brother and six sister. Okay, in total, we're talking about 13 brothers. 13 siblings, because that's the, that's the word. Uh, to say that we have brothers and sisters, we have siblings. Imagine, do you have uh, 13 siblings or not? Too many. Yeah, it's too many. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In our beautiful country. Well, so this time could be complicated for people to have 13 kids. I don't know. Well, next one. Uh, what is his father's job? He is a taxi driver in Lima, Peru. Oh, he's a driver. Yes, a taxi driver. Exactly. That's what he does. You know, you know, and also that helped him to, you know, to support the family. That's good. And what does his mother do? Hello? She runs a small family store. Okay, she has some story. So, you know, that, that story helped her to, you know, support the family too. That is a nice business too. That's cool, that's cool. Next. And the last, you know, but who works in this family business? She helps run a small family store. Mm, but family? the family, yes. In that yeah. case, the family. Okay, so that's that's the, the most valuable. So the family. Okay, congratulations for the work done. Is is something interesting about you know, this conversation, my recommendation always is uh, to keep on trying, keep on, you know, work at listening skills because it's necessary and you can um, get familiar with the accent, pronunciation, intonations, and also statements. Okay, we go with the next thing. Listen up. Answer the following questions in groups. In that case, I will give you a couple of minutes to answer these questions. Then after this one, uh, we're going to work in a small breakup rooms and the questions you answered, you will discuss with your partners, okay? And for example, are chores assigned to children in your family? For example, children do something in the family like cleaning, washing the dishes, cooking. So how handle this situation? Question number two. Are you the oldest among your brothers and sisters? No, I'm, I'm the first, I'm the second one. I'm the third in my family. 
So you will have to enter according to your personal experience. Where or are your parents strict? For example, there are, there are some parents that are very serious and also um, they are very strict. But at the same time, there are some other parents that are very flexible. So you had to answer according to, to this one. Let's continue. Um, did you ever meet any of your great grandparents? Or no, do you say, no, no, I, I have never had the opportunity to, to meet my grand grandparents. In my case, my personal case, um, I never met uh, my great grandparents. Only I met my grandmothers, but I, I didn't met my grandfathers neither my great-grandparents. Um, do you get along well with your family? If you are doing good with your family, if you have a good relationship, if you have a good connection with your family, so you can say, yes, I have a good connection with them, or we love each other, etc. The next one is, um, do you get along with your brothers and sisters? Um, Se lleva bien con sus hermanos y sus hermanas? Yes, I get along with them. I love my brothers and sisters. They are the best. Oh, no, we don't have too, too much interaction. Or we don't have, like, communication. Usted, you respond in the best way. What kind of things do you do with your family? ¿Qué tipo de cosas hace con su familia? Uh, we go to the park. We go to a restaurant. We go to church. Do you go to the park? Do you exercise? What do you do with your family? What will you teach your children? What will you teach your children? What values, what beliefs, hobbies, skills? ¿Qué le enseñará a sus niños? ¿Qué les enseñará en su proceso? So I give you a couple of minutes to respond these questions with your own information. And after that one, we're going to a answer we're going to socialize the answers you have with your partners because the purpose is that we can interact if you have any questions or doubts related to the vocabulary you can ask and i will be more than glad to help you, you can say teacher william i'm sorry but i don't understand equation number three or i don't understand the second question or number four so i can help you with that okay so let's start and respond these questions with your personal opinion but i need to make sure that you understood is that clear for everyone está claro la indicación yes excellent great job and thank you for those who have the camera on because it's important to have the camera on remember that it's necessary according to the instructions given by Insofor. And at the beginning of this course, it was said that you have to have the cameras on, right? So thank you so much. And we can start right now responding to this question.
Okay, do you have a question, a doubt, or everything is okay right now? It's okay for me. Okay, perfect. Okay, almost ready? Yes, not yet. So tell me, because if you're ready, we can also, you know, share, you know, our personal information about the questions about family. Um, are you ready? No, no, teacher, not yet. Okay, so please let me know. I will give you uh, five more minutes to share these um, questions and then we practice in groups. Okay, ready now? Yes? Uh, 
Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Okay. You. Okay, you're ready. Okay. Well, the, the important is that we can also like express our ideas about you know every single equation. So for, in that case, we're going to um, work in breaker rooms in you will have the opportunity to share with your partners these questions and, uh, and try to help each other with, with, with questions about vocabulary or pronunciation. And I need to make sure that we are ready for that one. Okay, let's go. Let's see here, one second. Mm -hmm. Let me create the groups. Break up rooms, let's see, room, room, rooms. Okay. Okay, let's see, two, four, two and three. Okay, two and three. Okay, we're going to um, practice, produce the language, please, and, and do your best in the groups. Remember that the purpose about being in groups is that you can uh, share this information that you can practice and you can socialize your English. Okay, so look at the screen and accept the invitation to the breaker rooms. Let's go.
pregunta es... Ah. Assigned to children in your family. Eso es como hay... Tareas o roles o... Cuestiones así. I, yes, in my, my house, I, uh -huh. family. I uh, me, I administer all, yeah, I don't know si lo dije bien, <laughs> okay, administer all, and <clears throat> because I have more organis, organis, I don't know, say, And yeah, only. And you? Um, there are no children in my family, but when I was a child, uh, I was always uh, tortillas y todas las cosas. And, and you, Katarina? But Oscar is not finished the question, or I'm yes? Sorry. And teacher, how can we say about that Oscar said, like, hacer los mandados, o ir por tortillas? Um, you can say have some chores, have some chores or do some chores and look at the chat. Okay. Can you see it? Do some chores. Well, so actually it's this one, sorry. It's with, with C, um, sorry, I didn't check that. Chores with C, uh, chores, it means Things people do at home, like cleaning, washing the dishes, you know, doing their beds, like quehaceres del hogar. In English, we can say chores. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, in my family, chores that are assigned to children are sweep and mop the floor. Also buy things in the store, make the bed, and clean the table, or wash the dishes. <coughs> the question two is, are you the oldest among your brothers and sister? What about you, Fiorella? All this is a good or bad relationship. And you, Oscar? Teacher, I don't know I how to I know the oldest. Uh, I have two sisters. And I am second. But I have... A young sister and an old sister. Okay, you are the second one. Yeah. Okay, uh, I can say teacher before the last one or the, because I have five uh, siblings, but I am the 50 one. And I can say also before the last one. Mm, es como el, I uh, would say in English, antepenúltima. Yes. Ah, ok, antepenúltima. En, en inglés, en este caso, pues es... Eh, se lo vamos a escribir acá en el chat. Look at the chat, please. Look. Can you see it? Yes. Or antepenultimate. 
Okay. Two choices, like the two choices we have. <clears throat> antepenultimate or antepenult. Okay, guys, in my case, I am an antepenultimate. And the question three is, where or are your parents uh, strict? Uh, yes, my mom. What about your parents, Oscar? Okay, in my case, Fiorella, uh, I have, I live with my mom and she is very strict. Uh, she doesn't leave me to go any places or have a different type of friends, I can say. But it was, I think that it was more when I was studying at the school because she was very, very strict with me. She was very uh, protectful, I can say that. Like protectora. Yes. Okay. Okay. And did you ever meet any of your great grandfathers? Mm, in my case, no. I didn't meet any grandparents. And okay, and me too. I don't ever meet in of your grades, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and do you get along well with your family? Yes, I get along well with my family, and I enjoy have a good time with them. When I uh, spend time with them, I really feel like comfortable with them uh, because I love them. Okay, thank you. And my call, my guess, I love my family, but for my sister work in different, but for the reasons I don't see, uh, I don't think I don't see much. Yeah, only in the night, but um she laid in the house not not talk too much and nothing but sometimes and not, uh -huh, yeah sometimes okay and yeah. raro, raro. in santo domingo <laughs> ah, okay yeah And I have to go to go there. Teacher, we finish the questions. Everybody. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Thanks. Okay. Back to the breakup rooms in a in a couple of minutes. Um, okay. Okay.
Okay, well, um, I think I'm also best for here. And we have a couple of minutes to conclude this um, part of this activity. And we have an article that we had to read. We have to read the following article and I need uh, someone that can help me to take a picture to this uh, paragraph. And if you are able to share with the group, I will really appreciate it. So I need you to share this article with important information about learning English or taking a test or evaluations. So you will read it and later in a briefly way, we had to answer some questions. No sé si alguien lo puede compartir en el grupo. Thank you. Y las preguntas también. Uh, we're going to answer some questions with true or false. Eh, falso y verdadero. De acuerdo al artículo. Entonces leemos el artículo. Y luego compartimos si es verdadero o falso de acuerdo a lo que hemos leído. So you can also check that. Can you share the, the answers, please? Puede compartir también las, las respuestas. Or false. So you can also do me the favor to share. Um, I, I saw that someone um, shared the previous paragraph. But I don't know the name. So, but someone can help me to share the questions too. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Bueno, ya están en el grupo las preguntas y también el párrafo para que usted lo pueda ver ahí. Así cambio pantalla y pasamos la asistencia. So, just give me a moment, please, to do that one. Okay, uh, we check the attendance list. Uh, Ana Isela Janes. Present. Ana Ruth Perez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto. David Alejandro Rodriguez. David Alejandro is not. David. El chat respondió. Ah, bueno, gracias, gracias. David Rafael Ramos. Present. Eh, Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Diana Cristina. Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Eric Javier Ventura. Eric Javier Ventura. Eh, Fiorella Alejandra Crespin. Present. Gerardo José Tepas. I'm here. Thank you. Henry Alejandro Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Ingrid is not here. Uh, Jorge Francisco López. Jorge. Juana Margarita Sea. Present. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present. Eh, Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Present. Laura Lisset Peña. Laura. Eh, Lorena Araceli Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Mirna Yasmin Portillo. Oscar Otaniel Cruz. 
Present. Thank you. Reina Jael Arevalo. Reina. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Tatiana. Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Wendy Lisette Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, well, before, because of the time, we're going to share briefly the answers so you can compare it. Study every day, not just before a test. Do you think it's true or false? It's true, it's true right? Yes, because it's necessary to study um, before, right? And every day, so all the time. Next one, you should have stayed up late studying the night before the big test. False. Yes, it's false because it's complicated. I mean, you're not concentrated 100%. Don't bring anything. They always have a clock on the wall. What do you think? False. False. Yes, in that case, it doesn't make sense. So it's false in this case. Next one. Read the instru instructions twice before you answer. True. True. Yes. True. Always is necessary to do that one. You have to check the instructions before doing the test. Always, always, always. Next. Uh, the next one is when you, well, when you start getting anxious, keep going. Remember, you don't have to. To, well, in, in enough, you don't have enough. So what do you think could be? What do you think? The answer is number five. It's true in that case. And the last one. If you answer it doesn't look good on second reading, change it. It's true or false? False. Correct. That's good. Excellent. So we have here this exercise. So also you can read the article again with more time. And I think that in that way. So I really appreciate it, guys, for being here in the class. We have learned a lot. I really appreciate it. And congratulations for this incredible effort that most of the time you do for being here in the class and studying English. So thank you so much and have a beautiful night to all of you and continue practicing. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. You too.